In this video, we are going to look at the mathematical expectation, also known as expected value or the mean. We are going to talk about the variance and the standard deviation of a probability distribution of discrete random variable. You would recall, under measures of dispersion, we treated some of these things you heard about the mean, you heard about uh, the variance, the standard deviation. Similar to that also, under probability distribution of discrete random variable, we also talk about these parameters. Alright, so we start first by looking at the mathematical expectation. It's also called the mean or the expected value of a given probability distribution. Mathematically, this expected value, also known as the mean of a probability distribution, is given by equation 1 here on the board. You can see that, right? We use either this symbol E of X or we use this symbol mu. Alright? It's the same as mean, 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 but this is the symbol we use for it. So take note, it's now replacing x bar, is that okay? Under probability distribution. And it's equal to summation xi times pi, where xi represent the varied values and then pi represent what? The probabilities of the values there, right? This formula is quite similar to the mean under our uh, measures of central tendency. The only difference is that Frequency there has been replaced with what? Probability here. And then in that case, we usually divide by number of observation. Under probability distribution, you don't divide by anything. Is that okay? So knowing the formula under measures of dispersion and measures of central tendency can really help you out here to memorize this formula easily. Does that make sense? Just take that in this case there is no denominator, then frequency is now replaced with what? Probability. We now want to look at variance, all right? Variance of a probability distribution. It is defined as the expected value of squared deviation of the values of the variable from their mean. Just like we have square of the deviation of the variables from their mean under measures of dispersion, the same thing happens here, is that okay? And uh, in this case, the formula is also quite similar to what you saw under measures of dispersion, all right? Look at the formula, summation, xi minus, take note that is mu, expected value, means what? Mean, in this case. Just like you have x bar under measures of dispersion, then we square it and multiply by what? The probability, which uh, replaces what? Frequency. Is that okay? Once again, there is no denominator here. Unlike what you saw under measures of dispersion, where you would have to divide by what? Summation of frequency or n. Here, there is no division. That's just one of the differences. Then finally, we'll talk about standard deviation, which as always is the case, it is square root of what? Of the variance. You have the equation here on the board. In the next video, we are going to calculate the expected value, the variance and standard deviation for the case of a coin that was thrown three times. In this video, we have a question on probability distribution of a discrete random variable. That's the question on the board. The probability distribution table in an experiment of throwing three coins once is shown below. So this is a table that shows the experiment. We have the values of all the variable here, that's from 0 to 3. And of course, their corresponding probabilities. Is that okay? 1 over 8, 3 over 8, 3 over 8, and then 1 over 8. We are required to obtain the mathematical expectation, of course, also known as the expected value, otherwise the mean of a probability distribution of discrete random variable. We are asked to determine the variance and then the standard deviation. This is all too simple. Is that okay? The idea of what you did when we treated measures of dispersion can guide you a lot here. Once you have those full idea, this is just 1 plus 1. Guided by the formula here, we can compute this table. Is that, is that okay? Which, of course, is not absolutely necessary for this. You can actually walk through straight and get a result. For example, for the expected value, which is the mean, it's summation xi times pi. That's the formula we established. Is that not so? So all you need to do is 0 times 1 over 8, get the answer plus, open bracket, 1 times 3 over 8, get the answer plus, open bracket, 2 times 3 over 8. Get the answer in that order. 
All right, but if you still choose to go through a table, you can still be fast. Look at that. What's yeah? Just few columns, right? You can still be very, very fast to obtain your result. And uh, in getting the table from what we have here, okay, we have uh, our varied value here, the corresponding probability. Following the mathematical expectation formula, we need to multiply xi by pi. And look at it. If you multiply, you get this times this times this, you have this. 1 times 3 over 8, you get 3 over 8. 2 times 3 over 8, you get 3 over 4 continuously. Then you have to sum it because of the formula. And once you sum it, you've gotten your mean. Therefore, in the first part of the question, I can actually go straight ahead to say my mathematical expectation, mathematical expectation, all right, mathematical expectation, which we know the symbol for it already, it's giving us this, or you can use this. It's actually 1.5. This will move me to the next question, which is the variance. Now, to obtain the variance, you need this column, all right? Xi minus the mean all squared times pi. So before even moving to this column, you must have gotten your mathematical expectation because this column depends on it. Is that okay? So work out this. It's going to be xi value minus the mean, whatever you get, square it, and then multiply by the corresponding probabilities you get this. Once you are done, you sum everything. And you notice that the summation is 0 0.75. And fortunate enough, or good enough as it could be, take note that this column, if you add all of them, it has defined your variance directly. Is that not so? So I can get my variance s squared, or we use this symbol squared, is equal to all this summation here. And of course, the formula is summation under uh, xi minus the mean squared times pi, which of course from the table directly we got it as 0.75. Can we now reach out to obtain our standard uh, deviation, which is of course square root of what? The variance, or you can say that this is equal to square root of this uh, symbol. Doing that, let me use the x part, it's going to be square root of variance is 0.75. If you walk around that, let's see what we're going to get. That is uh, 0 0.87 approximately. And of course, we've obtained the solution to this problem.